And there's a lot of weather happening out there today, at least in the form of rain. Court Clopping in the Storm Tracker Weather Center to follow it all for us. That's right. And Linda, it looks like we've seen the lion's share of the showers that are going to be hitting the ground across Northern California today already this morning. And as we head through the day, we have some limited showers still possible but not looking all that likely. So it's a bit of a lull in the active weather pattern for your Thursday. We'll then see wet and cooler conditions returning late Friday and lasting through Saturday and then drying out and warming up as we head through the latter half of your weekend. And so it's going to be a bit of a mixed bag for outdoor activities. If you're trying to get out and about Saturday or Sunday, it looks like Sunday, certainly the better bet. As far as what we're seeing outside this morning, here's a live look outside of the Sundahl Bridge in Redding. Cloudy skies overhead, showers just wrapped up in the Redding area. A few minutes ago, we're starting to see those really fizzling out early on this morning across the valley. Temperatures much milder this morning as well. We were in those 40s yesterday. We're in the 50s this morning. 54 degrees in Redding, 52 in Chico. 40s to lower 50s in the foothills with 53 degrees in Paradise right now. And we're in the 30s to 40s in our mountain zones this morning. So you'll still want the extra layer. You just don't need to bundle up to the same extent as you did yesterday morning. Winds out of the north up to around 6 miles an hour for Red Bluff and Chico right now. And throughout the day, we're looking at gusts up to 15 miles an hour out of the north this morning subsiding by this afternoon, so mild for the winds later on today. Looks pretty good for outdoor activities this afternoon with clearing skies and mild temperatures and light winds. Winds staying pretty modest through the day on Friday and then Saturday as low pressure tracks through our region. Winds out of the south picking up gusts up to 30 miles an hour late in the day Saturday, 35 miles an hour by the afternoon hours. Those winds persisting in late Saturday evening, but diminishing by early Sunday. Checking with what we're going to be seeing outside today. Satellite and radar showing cloudy skies overhead. Scattered showers continuing to fizzle out across our region right now. Low pressure that was centered a little further to the north yesterday is shifting to the south. It's still pushing some moisture into our region, but it's also running into this ridge of high pressure just off to our east that's acting as a bit of a buffer zone. So the best chance for showers today is going to be to our south or off to our west. We're seeing clouds this morning and then clearing skies heading into the afternoon. Your hyperlocal future cast showed you those scattered showers and our higher elevations and a potential for a light shower in the Reading area at 8 a.m. on your way out the door. We're mostly dry at noon today. Clearing skies as well, some showers in the Sierra, and then shower chances returning late this afternoon into this evening in Butte and Glen County zones, briefly tracking north across our region. It's going to be pretty light and not really long lasting for those showers tonight. Checking in with your Friday forecast, mostly clear in the morning and then clouds increasing in the day. Shower chances ramping up late Friday into Friday night and then overnight showers becoming widespread, persisting through the day Saturday. Saturday looks absolutely soggy. I would plan on indoor activities for Saturday. Sunday looking a bit better with clearing skies and slightly warmer temperatures. So throughout today, it looks like we'll see a trace of rain in parts of our region, less than a tenth of an inch across the board. But Friday night through Saturday, pretty decent looking rain totals, about a half an inch to an inch possible in the valley, a bit more than that in some foothill areas, about a half an inch to an inch in some of our mountain zones as well. Temperatures today ending up in the 50s to low 60s in the northern mountains, partly cloudy, a slight chance for some showers. Chance for some showers across the Sierra today with highs in the 50s for your afternoon. Foothill areas, 50s to low 60s later today, mostly to partly cloudy skies. That chance for some scattered showers, mainly late in the day. And in the valley, mostly to partly cloudy. Showers possible early this morning and then not as likely after that with mid to upper 60s. Valley areas of Butte and Glen County zones, cloudy skies clearing out in the afternoon and then the chance for showers returning this evening with those mid to upper 60s in your forecast today. Shower chances increasing through the day Friday, but temperatures also a little warmer. Upper 60s to low 70s after starting out in the 40s. We'll end up in the 50s early Saturday with rain through the day and highs in the lower 60s. Drying out with clearing skies Sunday. Lows in the 40s, highs low to mid 60s and then highs upper 60s to low 70s Monday. Mid to upper 60s and staying dry for the middle of next week.